let me share with you some of the steps that I go through when I'm planning out my shoots, and I think this might help you. The first part of intentionally making a story with pictures is to know what your shot list is. So you need to go in and read that recipe from start to finish, understanding all of the technique, all of the ingredients, how it's plated, how it's garnished, and that's gonna really help you understand how to make that story. Going through the recipe and mapping out all of the spots in the continuum that are gonna give you opportunities to shoot is a really great practice. Another thing that I learned when I started to direct was that storyboarding really helps visualize what you're gonna do in a photo shoot or a video shoot. They don't have to be professional, you don't need to be Picasso, but by understanding where you wanna be with your angles, where you want your props to be, what your framing looks like, you draw them out. Let me show you some examples. So these boards were for a video shoot. And what they do is they outline what the type of shot is, we're calling it a medium close-up shot, and we're talking about the action that's going to happen on camera, which is pouring the soup into the bowl. So by drawing these things out, I did not draw these, these are professional, but by drawing it out and having them here for me to look at, I can visualize exactly what I want to see in the camera. Here's another example of the overhead close-up shot. So that by giving me an accurate depiction of what I really want to see when I look through the viewfinder, that really helps. And here, of course, I've included the action of the spoon stirring the soup. Here's one last example. This was a close-up shot of a butternut squash that we had rigged so that when the camera was rolling, it would open up as if it was cut with a knife. By having a solid workflow, from shot list to storyboards to actual shots, you're gonna maximize your opportunities to make great content.